And we return to book 18 of Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, The Shield of Achilles. Now, if you have yet to catch up to this point, or have just stumbled across this video for the first time, down in the description below, there is a link to a playlist where you can listen to the entire Iliad as it is being recorded. But if you are here for this book, then without further ado, and no more stalling for time, we begin with book 18 of the Iliad, where Achilles is having a gut feeling that Patroclus has failed to heed his warnings and has now perished in the fields of battle. He notes that Patroclus has in fact pushed the Trojans from his ships, as the fighting has stopped all around him, and he can no longer hear the fighting out in the distance over Patroclus' body, but he has yet to hear of his demise. And it is almost on cue that the messengers from Menelaus arrive shortly to confirm his suspicions and inform him that not only has Patroclus perished, but that Achilles' own armor has been taken as spoils of war by none other than Hector himself. And upon hearing this news, Achilles drops to his knees and tears his hair out in sorrow. He curses that he will push aside his rage at Agamemnon and avenge his fallen friend. He knows deep down that this battle will end in his own demise should he join, but he does feel that revenge is the only thing that he has left to live for. Achilles has in fact not let go of his rage, but he's instead moved it from one source to another. He is no longer angry at Agamemnon, but he is now furious at Hector for taking the life of his friend. And he moves forward the Iliad, as this is not, once again, the story of Achilles, nor the story of Troy, despite it being called Troy's story, which is the direct translation of the Iliad. This is, in fact, the story of Achilles' rage. Now his mother Thetis swoops down and tries to stop Achilles from joining the battle, as she does not wish to lose her only son. But she does relent and let him go, as long as he does not join the fighting, until she returns with a new set of armor made by Hespestus, the crippled god of fire. And it is here that Achilles runs out of his tent and lets out a powerful war cry of sorrow, to which Pallas Athena lends power to, sending it from the Myrmidon's ships all the way to the walls of Troy. And hearing this cry, the Trojans panic and abandon the fight for Patroclus' body, allowing the Achaeans to recover it without trouble. And they bring back the body to Achilles. All the Achaeans mourn for his loss, as Achilles vows that he will not bury Patroclus until he himself kills and mutilates Hector. Back in the Trojan camp, Polymetus recommends to Hector that they return to Troy for that very night, as he fears that Achilles will return to the battlefield. Hector, unfortunately, blinded by Zeus with pride, he responds by saying that he would never run from Achilles, despite doing that just earlier from hear just hearing the man's cry. And true to her word, the goddess Thestis, or sorry, Thetis, goes to Hespestus and pleads with the gods to make her a new set of armor for her son. Hespestus decides to do just that, without hesitation, as he explains to her, he owes Thetis his life, since she was the one who nursed him as an infant when he was crippled and all of the other gods had abandoned him and cast him from Olympus's heights. He begins his work on the armor right away, without, be without missing a sweat or a beat, and he makes a suit of armor worthy of a god. He ornately crafts everything from a helmet, breastplate, greaves, and a spectacular shield, decorated with images of the heavens and the earth, peace and war, life and death, and all sorts of other dualities. And with this armor made, Patroclus' death, Achilles' has passed the point of no return. He blames himself for his rage at Agamemnon, and for Patroclus' death, and he uses this as a catalyst to further his destruction. And with that, book 18 of Homer's epic poem, The Iliad, comes to a close. 
Now, if you're enjoying this video, don't hesitate to give it a like and a subscribe and leave me a comment below on anything I can do to improve. And if you'd like to have a copy of the Iliad to help continue and follow along, you can pick up a copy of a leather-bound edition down in the description below for my Amazon affiliate link. And with that, I wish everyone the best, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care, everyone.